You're so smart for 15. When are you going to grow up? Don't touch that. You'll break it. As long as you're in my house, you'll do it. What do you know? You haven't experienced anything. It's just a stage. You'll outgrow it. A definition that encapsulates the broad range of how adultism is a mechanism of oppression is defined as the systematic mistreatment of young people on the basis of their youth, including stereotyping, discrimination, negative attitudes or behaviors toward young people and withholding respect, power, privilege, and rights of participation on the basis of age. It includes the assumption that adults are better than young people and entitled to act upon young people without their agreement. This mistreatment is supported and reinforced by the laws, policies, norms, mores, social customs, and everyday practices of society. Adultism sometimes could be misinterpreted as ageism. However, Adultism differs from ageism by adultism is any discrimination against young people, while ageism focuses on prejudice solely based on age, whether young or old. First and most important, the only people I hear use the term adultism are adults. It seems like more of a clinical term or a professional word. It's not intuitive. It just seems stuffier, like you need to be some professor of liberation theory to get into it. Ageism just comes naturally to people. Why am I being discriminated against? Because of my age. Oh, ageism. Repeated negative responses from adults, such as unequal treatment, disempowerment, and disrespect, leads to internalizing negative feelings about self. This is called internalized adultism, and the internalization of these oppressive forms perpetuate a negative and dysfunctional rippling effect. The youth that experiences internalized adultism will both adopt and enforce adultism on a younger person, and this imbalance of power teaches youth the roles of target and agent of oppression. Most of us, unfortunately, have engaged in adultism. For instance, have you ever told a child to stop crying because you thought they were crying over something meaningless? What about telling a teenager they're making a big deal out of nothing? And instead of directly asking a child their name, you ask their parent what their child's name is. These are all examples of what adultism is in its subtlest form. Interpersonal adultism is oppression that can be seen through denying young people the authority to make decisions that impact their bodies, space, and possessions. Cultural adultism is illustrated through the belittlement of young people's relationships. For example, terms like puppy love undermine individual emotions and connections. Institutional adultism are laws, customs, and practices that systematically reflect and produce inequalities based on age. An example would be curfew ordinance that apply only to young people or loitering laws disproportionately directed at youth. It is difficult to involve young people when they do not view themselves as a group that can create change, or when they have ideas but are unsure how to proceed, or when they take action but lack resources for implementation. It is difficult when adults view young people as deficits rather than resources or show adultism, which flows from the assumption that adults are better than young people and entitled to act upon them without their agreement because of their age. Adultism can cause young people to question their own legitimacy or internalize the oppression of adults and the limitations that they place upon them. To counter adultism, the next time I interact with youth, I will ask myself, would I treat an adult this way? My stance against adultism is to educate others to view youth as people who have wisdom and can contribute to society. Resisting adultism means meeting a child at his or her eye level. Incorporating youth's ideas in both discussion and decision making is my approach to combat adultism. For more information on adultism, Please visit the following websites and learn what organizations are doing to resist this mechanism of oppression.